Yeah, John is definitely capable of kind of resetting the bracket. We know, I feel like he's done it in the past, right? He has, he has. He's very capable of these. He's a very formidable player. And I know it was not a close game in the least bit um, last time they played in uh, Winter That's Finals. Funny. Yeah. No, it, it went to game five, I believe. And mm -hmm. it ended up where, um, no, it didn't. I think it was a... Yeah, it was a... I think it was three, one. It was oh my god, there's four games. There's four games. John but was bringing it, it back, but Jen five. got the download. Yes. Now let's see if Jen can make magic happen once again. Closing out, you know, 3-0 clean victory against John. Or will John rise up to the challenge, reset the bracket, and potentially be our winner for today? Potentially, that is if John, or if John doesn't just straight up reset the entire bracket. He might be with this lead that he has going on Jen right now, trying to get the download on where Jen was going to go in that moment. But unfortunately, misreading where Jen was going to land with the teleport option. Again, Hulu Hoop does so much for, for numbers in terms of recovery option. And this, I think, is what, what numbers was going for the first time they fought the planking and not yep. getting hit by Nair, and it's just going on with, with like the, the F2. Worked out this time, finally. And the numbers are just racking up on Jen right now with the 78. I guess. That's it, yep. Yep. The ball saves him a little bit, but Explosive Flame definitely mm -hmm. will close it out. And I think you're kind of trapped on the platformer as well, because had you had you not, had you, had you, you would air dodge run to a platformer and then like getting caught, got a little bit carried away. And Jen, of course, you've noticed, very good catching on that platform anyway. So let's see if we, can, if we have this on there. going on, missing the up air, but at least fish, finishing off with a little bit of a dash attack uh, damage. Down there into, into back air again. Yep, and I love how mm -hmm. Jen makes really good use of that down there out of shield. I don't see a lot of Paulus do it. Only at like the very high top level, but when they do, it is so immaculate. Especially that spacing on shield as well to kind of just catch people just jumping on out. But John Numbers having the snipes with the sun salutations is getting a very nice lead up on Jen right now. So they, they, they feel they have five games to play with, which is so important when you are dealing with someone who has been who just fought before you and has a little bit, little bit of a warm-up right now. Jen has been kind of cold for a few rounds, so hopefully we can get a little bit of a download and a little bit of a warm-up right now. Maybe if you, if you get this, this stock cleaned out soon, soon, going to a back throw. Oh, I'm surprised not going for a back throw. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of momentum just going John's mm -hmm. way right now. Very, clean, very cleaning up a lot of his opponents and losers. You know, 3-1, or actually 3-0. Oh, yeah, yeah the, three, the green oh, ones are where, two, where one. numbers one, yeah. We had mm -hmm. quite the work to do, but now he is down. Or I can. You're even. You're fine. You're fine. You. We take a water break, bestie. We take a water break. I'm like my brain, it's melting. It's okay. <laughs> he needs to be hydrated right now. So Jen again, he has rage and he has very good control of the air actually. And if we get one more out here, we might be taking it to a really even percentage, or at least more combo percentage to actually kill numbers more uh, consistently than we are expecting in the earlier part of the, of the game. Jen, of course, taking numbers all around the stage. And there's that down to into back air. You are not DIing that. That is the way that Jen plays. We are in disadvantage. And then suddenly, we're not in disadvantage anymore. You allow Jen to have the position that he's most comfortable in, most advantageous in, and that's where Jen will shine. As the life and soul of Paul Tana just hit that down so set up with the back here. I love that Paulu Lily, her down so ducks her so far under that it went right underneath the soccer ball that Numbers was definitely expecting to hit and like he was gonna follow up with a dash attack after the fact. Yeah, it low profiles, it hits below stage, mm -hmm. it covers it all. And John Numbers is already Stop. off the bat. Oh my God. Just getting that Kalkin off on the stage, getting that damage in. Jen already was with that, 77. Was that, was that two hits? That was, yep, that was two, three interactions just happening already. And Jen is forced to clean up this percent deficit, which has become very large right now. And I, I love John just <laughs> playing. He's like, doo, doo, doo. playing a little bit of like, it's, I like moving. It's so funny. But I just. 70% just for two interactions. For, for Jen was, was, I would feel dirty. I would feel cheated. That's just me, though. No, I, I definitely would as well. No, I'd be like, damn, I did all this work. Now Jen, trying to do what he does best, just trapping at the ledge. Really good Ooh. coverage with the backers. Trying to bust out the pivot tilt to just 
or the pivot grab to just catch a roll on in. And John Numbers is kind of reclaiming his position in this game right now. I, Low profiling, yo. always with the down, you know, no. with the planks. Good. When you're, when you're able to low, power, low profile that far down as we fit, use it to your advantage. You cannot be grabbed. You cannot be, uh, oh, Radical, I think bullet goes right, basically right through you if you're down enough ones. Like, you know, can I think yeah. just a, a target? And it's just really optimal option. You can, I mean, at least where we fit, she can just like hop over. It's so good for her. I love how John knows what Jen is cooking right now. Just John whenever he, every time that he grabs, he always just low profiles it. And now Jen is kind of just setting up shop in the corner right now, but John always just nice. finds reversals, and that's the first use of counter I've seen in this game so far. Yeah, Jen's not one to really use a counter reflector really all that often unless they absolutely have to. There we go. I believe John had just let go of, of Crouch and and Jen was able to grab him right in the middle of that animation. Yeah, now the thing about counter is that it is a very committal option and it's kind of a hard call out in most situations because you're sitting there kind of waiting for your opponent to just... It, it kind of gives them a free S-Mash or just free conversion off of something, yep. especially if you whiff it. Uh, your own soccer ball. Could it be me? I betrayed you. I'm very surprised that Polo Backer is just able to hit John just crouching on low. I guess it cannot save you from everything, but I love the fake off movement off the platform to just come back swinging on in with the back here. I actually believe that uh, Jen had throw out back here at the very at the very last moment right before um, standing animation would have taken over. And that's when it hit numbers. He did again, and it whiffed numbers. It moved over numbers completely. Yeah, I saw. So it was just good spacing, honestly. I saw John was trying to go for the F tilt on shield, getting a reverse hit to just get a shield foot, perhaps. But he's still taking off with the soccer ball, and now he has. I was gonna say limit right now. He has deep <laughs> breathing right now, so things are looking real scary because a few interactions, Jen can be just sitting with 70 or 80 percent very soon, but it's going away right now. Mm -hmm. And Jen is giving himself all the room oh. to just react to John coming in with all these dash attacks. The platform actually coming in uh, that speed really saved numbers, uh, at least from having to air dodge physically through the it was a flame right there. It kind of just brought him back to the stage quickly enough to avoid the uh, whole interaction at once. Oh, uh, we're trying for, uh, trying for a ledge trump right there. Unfortunately, not getting anything off of it. We're going to be seeing Jenna continuously get hit by the Asan style by just dashing in a little bit too early and not staying a little bit more careful, especially at 117% a whole stock deficit. I definitely want to see a little bit more patient play from him. Even though he's in, 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 dis in disadvantage. Yeah, and I go. love the MP fix nice. to just go for a grab and uh, put Jen in a really tricky situation, but Jen just did not fold in this case. Is continuing his dash attack pressure off that stock. Three of them. Let's do it. It's still going ongoing right now. John Numbers just up in the air, looking to get in with the uh, the deep breathing unlock right now. Not quite catching yeah. it, but catching the jump with the back air. This is gonna be a game two for John's book. Now let's try it together. Come on, oh, let's try it together. We are moving on to game three. Both players are one to one at the moment. Uh, again, if numbers uh, does get the three, two of the three, I guess, oh, at least on Jen, we'll be going over to a grand reset. So here we go. That's what numbers is looking forward to. Numbers has like at least 10 games to play with, hopefully. Jen is trying to finish this out. It is 9.41 p.m. Some people got work tomorrow. I don't. So I let's definitely go. don't. I was thinking about going to Brooklyn, but like, nah, I'm, I'm tired, bro. Maybe? Perhaps? You go to bed today, and then you go over to Brooklyn at 3 o'clock when bracket starts. Mm. Yeah, I love that wavelength conversion. Or, yeah, that, that was wavelength, yeah, right? I think so. Oh, teleport cancel. I like teleport cancel. cancel. Oh my god. I'm like, Louis Money, is that you? Louis Money. You are. No one is here. Ooh. They are not here. Sonic isn't here. Louis Money isn't here. <laughs> Oh, Louis, Louis Dollars? Is that you? Louis, Louis Dollars? <laughs> Louis Bucks? <laughs> Louis Pesos? You're here? <laughs> here we go. So oh, I know somebody getting the money tonight. Yeah, our players, of course. Hello, Macharino. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, Jen is playing this game. Like, again, I want him to play a little more patiently, and whenever he is in a good advantage state, just like right now, where you are forcing numbers into an, uh, an air dodge situation, you are catching him. 
as most vulnerable with that back air. That's exactly what we saw. Yeah, and Jen is just still continuing this oppression with the up, up airs. Still getting some really solid comfort. Oh my god! I love how he just lured that space to just lure John in on the platform. Just get a good solid F smash in. And now he's just dominating the space right now. Just letting John come on in from disadvantage. And just throwing out whatever option he sees fit. We see the down air. He immediately answers with a dash attack. And now he's just trapping at the ledge. Letting John just come on in. Doesn't quite get the back air. But the grab, he's going to get some solid reward off of this. And I know, and nothing off of either person. Uh, now we're just... Numbers are just struggling. Now we're at 105% for Jen. Numbers... What the, what did you have to do here? Well, not get hit by up tilt over and over again. The game that he was playing the previous in the previous game... That's funny. He had to start playing that once more. I think more projectiles... Because that's what Jen was always getting hit by. This, the really charged up sun citations were something that Jen often gets hit by just because he's always doing dash attack, you know? Or his approach option is very horizontal. If numbers can go back to that playstyle, we should be seeing a we should be seeing numbers slowly start to turn his game round for himself. Otherwise, Jen might be taking this this game three. Yeah, things are looking very convincingly for Jen right now. Just reading that roll and trying to go for the down air. He's still continuing his assault right now. Picking up the pieces off the platform, getting in the down or getting in that back air, and it's still just continuing off these down airs. I'm loving these conversions, keeping John at the ledge over here, giving him that space to come on in. John finally answers back with a down air and is able to continue or to start his assault over here, just trapping Jen and starting to plank, maybe perhaps getting a sun salutation. That's it. Oh, that's all she wrote. That's it. Once I saw that he was on the actual uh, the platform, I was like, back throw is going to kill. You're so close to the blast zone, it's not even funny. Yeah, because you're forced to tech on the platform, and yep. you're just kind of stuck in that situation where Jen can just react to you coming on, and it's like, okay, I see you just rolling right on in. Just back throw. Yeet. Look how close, look how close the numbers was to blast zone, that blast zone. Oh, it doesn't show. I'm hilarious. It's right there. But it, it's close. So we're going, yep, we're going right, right back to TNC. This is set point for uh, for Jen to win Xeno Saga Extra Large points. Part 3, aka 43, I believe. Yes. XL, yeah. Let's see if John can make those much needed adjustments to come out on over Jen. But Jen digging on deep with a downer, just early ending John's life here. I, I blink. I got to see that real fast in our replay here. Hold on. The numbers. Oh yeah, that's it. Just down there. Yep, and the second gone. stock is already in motion right now. Jen just with these explosive aerials right now. Two forward airs gets that back air in. And John numbers another hula hoop SD or just I Jen just incredible at just keeping John numbers at the ledge, keeping that pressure up, and covering where he is going to be. We're seeing all the up air trains. We're seeing all the the uh, the up airs just coming on out. No, Jen is playing out of his mind right now. I mean, two, I mean, not not two, one unfortunate just missed recovery from John Numbers in the second stock. But Jen gained that dare so early in the game was so good for him with such a low percentage to his name as well. Yeah, and you saw him trying to go for the downer on the platform. Not, but unfortunately he did not get it, but he's just, he has all the reads unlocked. He knows exactly where John is going to be. And he's probably picked up on him going low most of the time. And he's waiting to just set up for whatever he can in the corner right now. Oh, yeah, that's smart. Yeah, just roll on through. Is. No three stock for, for Jen, but however, we are still sitting so comfortably. If we're get, we can get another edge guard situation going on for ourselves, and we do. Oh, 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 oh. Linger, we did. hang tight with he the back too air, fast. let it rip. He got too fast, no. I, I saw I saw the slight pop of uh, from his like from his seat in the replay. Hold on. I think we caught it, but I don't think we caught any like controller like th uh, yeah. toss. He caught a jump with the auto vehicle, which was unfortunate. That was, look at this bop. Just, yeah, that's why he did. Oh, he didn't even dump, yeah. And here, what, what was this? So this, this was just disgusting. Oh, he, oh, he missed. Oh, he, he was too scared to get hit by by, uh, yeah. by Palu, so he drifted a little bit too far to the right and didn't have any momentum come back to the left. Dang. And John, frame six back air out of shield. Nah, here just it whip is, it out it real fast. Now this, just the back air, drops down, hang tight, yep. because no, he knows that John likes to go low. And especially if that John tries to boom. throw it, um, a ball or something like that, Shield can just be like, 
I'm just gonna invalidate you. Like you can't do anything to me. I think it's, I think numbers is being like, like hey, fist bump. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is fun. Okay, so really fast, yeah. right before we end, the, end up before 10 o'clock, I'm trying to go home to my dog. Follow House, please. Follow House. They do all the production stuff. They got a new camera, so I look actually melanated. It's amazing. And <laughs> we, they follow him on Twitter, on Facebook, on Twitch, which you should be doing already right now. And you should follow with Twitch Prime because it's free. And we have YouTube VODs uploaded immediately to, uh, as fast as we can uh, to the YouTube channel under the exact same name. The branding is, on, is like literally on point. It's peak chef's kiss. We also have Really last minute la match arena, we have five dollars left, five fifty left. I checked, so yep. but get those last minute yeah, monies get, in, get the last minute free Logging with your Twitch, in. Twitter, etc. You know, exclamation mark match arena. It's now at fifteen fifty for Let's go. We're a up. generous ten dollar donation from Luigi. No, Luigi, no, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, yeah, thank you so much to the ten dollar donation. <laughs> now we. Listen, uh, the, the, oh, yeah. the, the, the notion which I've started, I, I think. So, uh, one more thing. Oh, I don't have a Xeno Weekly. But Xeno Weekly every Wednesday is yeah. venue $8, entry $7, uh, okay? I do want to I do wanna announce that uh, registration is now up for our next Saturday event. It's not going to be Xeno Saga. It is the return of, finally, Ooh. Xeno Arcanian. Yay! Clap, clap, so clap, I can clap. actually compete and not lose round one. Oh, my goodness. Start GG slash Xeno Arcadian. Two twos rise up. It's your time to shine. Yeah, let's Xeno Arcadian. Spell. So let's... Uh, yeah, this is going to be eight, uh, October 1st. Mm -hmm. Basically, what Arcadian is, if no one knows, is that ranked players are not allowed to participate in Arcadian. It's only people who have not been ranked or anything like that, correct? Yep. 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 Yeah. Uh, and we like to go, like, uh, a little bit extra where uh, all the ranked players, they can be, like, coaches, yep. and then we do, like, a rotation yeah. so that they... So they, so they don't... Uh, so they can't play favorites and stuff like that. So everyone gets a chance for oh, that's cute. all that. I love it. Yeah, it's a little rotation system. Also, there's going to be like uh, doubles where... How does it work? Uh, if I recall correctly, it's going to be if you're two unranked players, you have all three of your stocks. If you're one, if you're one ranked oh, right. and I one remember. unranked, it's uh, one two less. and one. That's, and then if you're two really ranked players, and it's like I think either double one stock or something. Yeah. Which, you know... Yeah. This is I, I voted for that. I think it was really yeah. funny. I, I think that's what it's going to end up being. Uh, but yeah, so register for the Xeno Arcadian. It's going to be October 1st. $10 venue, $5 entry, so it's cheaper. Yep. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then we'll try and get a Maturino mm -hmm. up for that one as well, I guess. I don't know. Do, do, do the babies deserve it? I don't know. I did uh, the same. Also, I think I did third. Do I or do <laughs> I not make the Xeno Arcadian Rugrats themed? Perhaps. <gasps> Can you please? I, I, I really please? want to. I've wanted I to think you I've should. Wa I've wanted I think to you for should. years. Can you please make anyway. it right? <laughs> Rugrats, Rugrats is cool. I'll cry. Can All you right. please make it right? I, I'm, I'm baby. Uh, uh, I'm baby. Like, hello. You're baby? I'm, I'm baby. baby. You're baby? I'm baby. Yeah. Right. So either way, we're going to close out. Again, Xeno Weekly, every Wednesday. Do the Matcherino. Follow House on everything. Please and thank you. Um, Blackout, sign up for that before October, um, November, whatever. Yep. yep. Defend the North uh, as well. Defend the North is October, whatever. Uh, for, 21st to uh, the 23rd. Thank you. Yeah. I got you with I the dates. Board. I always be looking at the dates. Yo, you're, yeah, you're on October it. October 21st, so. Defend the North. Register now. Uh, and then uh, the week, the month after, uh, you're going to have a blackout. So it exactly. be fun time. So it's time for me to go home and feed my 14-year-old dog. So. Let's go. <laughs> we can finally eat. I can finally eat. We can finally eat. I'm going to get empanadas. We're going to go. Bye-bye. We'll see you for Xeno Weekly.